I'm a mechanical engineer and now I'm doing my PhD in low temperature physics uh, here at CERN. I work in the cryolab with a device called dilution refrigerator. I perform uh, thermomechanical and uh, fluid dynamic simulations in, uh, for the design of targets, dumps. I'm a radio frequency engineer and I'm a PhD student of a Marie Curie training network. I'm fellow Open Lab in IT department in database group. Our department is providing replication services between CERN and, and specific tier ones. I'm currently doing my research in, for vacuum systems. I have a mathematical background. I'm running simulations um, to calculate the pressure profiles. I'm a legal officer in the central legal service at, at CERN. I am mainly concerned with um, international collaboration agreements. I like most that many, many people from all over the world um, join together and want to reach one target. There are very many fields of, of science that we do. It's not just particle physics, although it's obviously the main focus, and being sort of part of it. Although I do not develop, I do not create or invent anything, I'm part of it by contributing the structure for it. With such a huge uh, team in which uh, everyone works hand by hand, giving the most of themselves, I have the feeling that anything is possible. Well, it's all my father's fault. <laughs> and since I was small, at various occasions, like watching movies, for example, he used to explain to me how things work. I would like maps and physics anyway, but thanks to him, I probably like them even more. I remember when, uh, when I opened the computer for, for the first time and I saw what was inside. It was so impressive and I was so excited to see what was going on. I was inspired by my hobby that was uh, racing with sailing boats. So uh, when I had to choose my university, I thought that uh, the closest that uh, could answer my questions about how a sailing boat works, it's aerospace engineering. You have to learn as much as you can. If you are working in a, in a field like computer science, you have to catch up every day with different technologies. Another thing that I suggest to someone that wants to start a career is always to be humble. In the process of learning, you always understand how small we are. Being open and uh, listen and consider other people's contributions. I would say be brave and uh, do what you find interesting. Sometimes it's challenging, but we can all do it. We should never uh, give up. We have to be open to develop an understanding for what the people are doing and also appreciate even more so not not only understanding it but also appreciating it and have a certain fascination about this as well. <laughs>